to tuck or not to tuck? You guys, I get this question all the time. People come in and see me or they send in photos. Do I need a full tummy tuck or can I get away with a mini tummy tuck? So I wanna show you just two examples of who's a good candidate for a tummy tuck and who's a good candidate for a mini tummy tuck and why. Stay tuned to the end of this video so I can tell you more about pricing. Our first example is a patient of mine who I actually did a tummy tuck and I wanna tell you why. If you look at this photo here, you can see that she has extra skin, she has stretch marks, and her belly button is pulled upward. So she ends up getting a sad face appearance of the belly button, okay? What that really means is that she has extra skin above the belly button that's pushing down on it. That is a direct indication that you need a full tummy tuck. Not only that, but you see that central bulge that she has? That's abdominal laxity. That's after all the children, the beautiful children that she's had, and her abdominal wall stretched out. So part of a tummy tuck is doing a plication to repair that muscle layer, that fascia layer, repair that term, that, that space called the rectus diastasis. That's the term for it. It's called rectus diastasis, and we repair that, and then we take down the extra skin. We reattach the belly button up higher to make it nice and flat. Now, often we can combine liposuction with a full tummy tuck, but we can also combine that with a mini tummy tuck. Now this is a patient who would benefit from a mini tummy tuck. You could see above her belly button, there's not a whole lot of skin laxity, but you could see down below where there's a C-section scar that she has a little bit of pooching and she has a little bit of indentation and overhang on that lower portion below the belly button. Okay, that's really key. If it's below the belly button, it's mini tummy tuck territory. Now we can keep the benefits of the mini tummy tuck is that we can keep that incision very narrow. But if she has significant abdominal wall laxity, we may need to go up and plicate that abdominal wall through the mini tummy tuck incision. Now generally that's easier to do with a full tummy tuck, but can be done with a mini tummy tuck as well. We can also combine liposuction at the same time. Recovery for a full tummy tuck is typically a few days longer than a mini tummy tuck, but if a mini tummy tuck, we do have to do a plication, you're not gonna be able to do any heavy lifting for six weeks. If it's just a mini tummy tuck skin only, you're looking at two weeks. Now in terms of pricing, it starts anywhere from $8,000 for a full tummy tuck, going up to a full $30,000 to $40,000 if you're going to do a mommy makeover with it. That includes breast surgery or BBL. For a mini tummy tuck, it ranges anywhere from $5,000 to $15,000 if you want to include liposuction or not. 